Okay. Now, ideally, we need to... So we can freeze him like this. Oh, you can't, you can't get here. If you can get here, you can shoot him onto the ice, which would be awesome. Um... Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. You're going to block this. You're going to just light this on fire. Actually, no, you can't do that. Well, yeah, you can do it this way. You're going to light this on fire to get a shield. And you are going to freeze him so that he frees you from the thing. I want to go with that. And we've killed no people. And a block. That is fantastic. Okay. Sadly. Yeah, sadly, that won't kill him. So, hey, let's go ahead and do that. And then get on that spawn. You do that, and you do that. We're only going to have one person this next turn. So we should be able to run up and punch him so that he can freeze that guy. And then run back down and get on the spot. <laughs> and then you can just sit here and you can go here, I guess. And, him. and then on this final turn, even if we have to kill this guy, we should be fine. We don't, because he could actually run up here, do that to him, he could freeze him, he can repair, and then he can get on the time pod just for fun. And we have done the triple, double, whatever you want to call it. We have gotten all the achievements, which is fantastic. And Ralph Carlson, who we already have. <coughs> and we got a core available. Um... I guess we'll give you plus two health. Is there a reason to take either of you guys? No, you got grid defense, so... No, I guess we'll give you plus two health. Kill all enemies before they retreat. This is the one I was talking about. Um, but this in hard mode is generally one of the easier battles you can do. Nowhere good to put him, so we'll just do that. There won't be any um, blocking spawns in this mission. There's our other time pod, so no FTL guys. Uh, I don't like that. Let's go ahead and freeze that. You kill him. And you... See, I don't want to do that now, definitely. Um... Yeah, just uh, chill out right here, because that way, if you get... If for some reason you can't move, like I webs you or something like that, you can still shoot. Okay. This seems pretty obvious. That seems pretty obvious. And as... Oh, that's not obvious. Um, yeah, we need to stop this guy because he's going to shoot that building. I didn't realize that. Uh, that's worth a reset of the charm. Because the only reason I freed this guy is because I thought he was going to shoot him. Um, hmm. Actually, put you there, get the time pod, shoot that guy into the wall. gonna take that out and you gotta freeze him. <coughs> so annoying. Luckily you can get here. Okay, now 
the, the trick here is going to be actually killing the enemies before they retreat, which I kind of forgot was a goal. Um, I almost guarantee it's not going to happen. Which kind of sucks, because this is the first goal we failed. <clears throat> yeah, that could have been better. Could have been done better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't prioritizing that. I probably could. If I had prioritized it, could have done. Um, I'm not going to give her plus two health. Just not going to do it. <laughs> Let's go to the Scorpion leader. Um, you can go there, you can go there, you can go there. Dwayne the Rock Johnson as the Scorpion King. Okay, those are all annoyances. Okay, we're gonna do this. That's fairly awesome. Um, however, this can't be a thing. Uh, you could actually do this and freeze that. You'll still be okay. Yeah, so let's do that. That'll block that spawn, which is kind of what my goal was. And then I'm actually cool with you doing that. I think I'll do that. Okay, this should be pretty easy to kill everybody. You do that. You do that. Oh, that doesn't kill him. It does give you a shield, though, and you're only taking two damage, so I think it's worth it. You do that. You do that. And you do that. And actually, you can do that. Like the game just handing you the thing here. Oh, I didn't realize he was on the spot. <laughs> and one enemy. Easy, and I think unless we get something really good at the store here, which we're not gonna we're not gonna get the bonus, which sucks. Um, like I said, if we get something really good at the store here, okay, who's gonna get that? I think she's got it, and then just give her another power, and boom. That's basically, ideally, that's the win right there. Um, is there anything better to buy? Flamethrower isn't bad, but I don't think we're going to use it. Okay, let's get rid of that garbage. Let's get rid of that garbage. Get rid of you. Uh, and everybody's named. Yeah, okay. So we got nine. Red. We don't actually have anything to spend it on. So maybe we should pick this up. That means picking up a grid defense, though. And we're only going to be able to do the default in the plus one range. Although, no, we won't. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's put this on you. Remove everything. And you lose your fire and forget, but who cares? You got a flamethrower. <laughs> and more importantly, you can push people. Which is which is awesome. Okay, we just have to remember that we we're not immune to fire. Um, so let's go ahead and buy that one grid power, and we are going to go for a three island victory. I hate to do it, not having a person, but I think we're the best squad we can be. Um, yeah, I want you there for the chance of the blobber going after you, and you can do that. <clears throat> okay, 
that's a bad thing. There's a lot of bad things in this. Um, almost all of it will be fixed with a push to the south. This being south. <laughs> um, except for this thing, which is easily fixed by punching it. Um, once we punch to the south, we would like you to shoot this guy. And I think we're going to do it by bringing you up here. So you can shoot him. Does he shoot three? No, it only two. Okay. You punch him. You go here and blow everybody to That'll also block us one. Another blow to the south looks pretty darn good right now. Especially if you do this. Yes. And that'll just kill him. So, and if we do it first... Get you up here. If we do it first... Oh, you can't get on that thing, so that sucks. Um, so you don't actually have a move. However, we could light stuff on fire. Because he's going to die. So you could do this. And I like that because um, that makes this un unattractive for the Vec. Bye-bye, boss. Of course, it doesn't make it unattractive for Vec that are on fire, which... Two of the three Vec who are going to be on the board here are going to be on fire. But hey, what are you going to do? Yeah. See, now now blowing this way looks pretty attractive to me. Um, but we have to deal with him, which is very easy to do. Actually, we can just shoot him to bump it. Um, so yeah, we're going to do that. You're just going to block a spawn. And you're going to blow everybody this way. And yeah, we're fine. <clears throat> okay, final round, we got three on three. Shouldn't be that difficult. Um, blowing this way is definitely in the cards. So much I'm just going to do it. It kills two guys, which is fantastic. You go here, you go here, you murder him, and you just repair for no reason. Okay, first round handled quite uh, handily. All comes down to this first turn on the second round. basically comes down to where the spawns are and where the pilots are. One nice thing is we have fantastic move. Um, and I think uh, Lily, I think it is, gets, uh, gets her move for... Um, hey, sorry. <laughs> gets his move for uh, um, the first turn. So he, he actually can get anywhere, which might end up being super critically important. Okay, I can almost guarantee you we're going to be blowing this way. That actually solves all the problems. So yes, we are. Um, and if we do that, you can get here after that. You can't get anywhere. But you'll be able to shoot him afterwards. Okay, so, you are coming over here. And then we're blowing everything this way. 
then you are shooting him. And then you are blocked, because I'm a moron. Use up my reset turn. Yeah, you're actually going to come here before that happens. There's madness to my method. Um, you are going to come here. You are going to go here and blow everything this way. You're then going to repair yourself. You're going to shoot him. And then we're done. And the important thing is we're blocking two spots for this critical second. And now he's gonna he's gonna get lit on fire, which does not make me sad at all. Um, and I think it might be time for yeah. I think we need to blow again. I think we need to blow to the left, which means he won't get lit on fire, which is sad. Um, Yeah, he could go up here and shoot him. And then he could freeze him instead of doing that. I think that's the way to do it. Freeze him, and then you come up here and freeze him shoot. The beetle eater is on fire, which I always love. It always makes me happy when he's on fire. <laughs> okay. I think we gotta move these guys. Oh, see, so if we move everybody to the left, he dies, and he blocks a spawn and dies. If we move everybody to the right, he dies, and he's not blocking a spawn. So left is correct. Left is the correct way to go. You can't block a spawn when you do that, though. And once we move everybody to the left, the only guy who matters anymore is him. So I think what... Oh, we can't... Well, you know what's going to do one damage? What's one damage? Okay. Yeah, what's one damage? One damage to the grid, one damage to the bomb. It's not going to hurt anything. Um... But then you can once again repair yourself. And then you can come down here and shoot him and kill him. Or even better, get on the spawn and repair yourself. <coughs> We're going to have three bad guys on the final turn. So we shouldn't have any issues. Um, if we blow this way, he's no longer a threat, he's dead, and he's very shootable. But we can't do it that way, because <laughs> he'll go on the thing. Okay, so let's do this first. Uh, let's just put you here. Blow everything this way. And that, was that was among the dumber things I've done. Um... Hmm. Well, guess what? Beam me up, Scotty. You're not going to get beamed up. Because we're going to win instead of saving your life. <laughs> Sometimes that's the way it works. Uh, yeah, that was... I, I played that last turn poorly. I, I, I guarantee you I had... I don't know what it was, but I guarantee you I had to not lose a pilot. But... Not a big deal, I wasn't taking it back anyway. From a gameplay perspective, things definitely could have worse. And we got a win, we got a two alien victory, we are two thirds of the way to the two, three, four victory. Uh, all we need is a two alien victory. We still don't have anybody with a shield, which is annoying. Um, so I might, 
I might play the custom squad next, which is funny, because uh, there, there are much better custom squads than ones we can make out of these two. Uh, but what are you going to do? Um, he's been in two previous timelines. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and take him. If, if he wins another battle, um, or did we lose the last one? Yeah, no, final battles too. So, so if he if he has goes to another final battle, then we'll get that achievement, and we don't need to worry about him anymore. Um, yeah, we've got all the achievements for you, all the achievements for you. We still need the achievements for the random and the custom squad. Um, the random squad open five time pods in a single game, beat the game any length without spending reputation, and raise grid defense to thirty percent or more. Um, these are hard to get all in the same run. Uh, and I want to do it with a specific squad, and I want that specific squad to be the one. So I literally do not know what I'm going to do next time. Um, I don't really want to unlock a squad because I want to cheese the randomness to get three ice specs once we have somebody with a uh, with a shield. But we don't have anyone with a shield right now because Bethany's right there, and then there's another one, one of these three that you can't see, <laughs> also has a shield. So sadly, I don't know what I'm going to do next time. Uh, if you have any opinions uh, and I haven't recorded it yet, feel free to post them below. I hope you enjoyed watching this. I definitely enjoyed playing it. I'm HMV and I will, as always, talk at you later.